hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to spending time avec severina salut les gars bienvenue sur ma chaîne bienvenue pour passer le temps avec severina if this is your first time stopping by this is severina i am severina je suis severina so guys today this is what we are dealing with a beach face a messy bun and your girl <laughs> yeah guys today is actually a saturday and if you don't know i'm back in school and my classes um happens on saturday but because of the pandemic we are virtual so right now i finished my first class this morning i have two class left my next class is in about two hours and then i have another class but that's that for today and uh, in between classes i just decided to beat my face y'all i'm not going nowhere um but i've not beat my face since november i don't remember like november october but i'm like okay i want to beat my face so i did beat my face and i got ready i'm not going anywhere so i decided i'm not gonna waste this bit i'm just gonna come here and talk to you guys so today's topic we're gonna be talking about size and expectations guys size and expectations in relationship okay guys let me let me put a disclaimer see this I'm taking off my nails and I'm left with this one. So please ignore it if you see it. Please ignore it. Okay, guys. So when we talk about size and expectation, what do I mean? So basically, I'm talking about cutting your coat according to your size. Literally, like in society, people love to say there's no size, there's no this. But there is size though. Like there is size. People date according to their social circle or the school they went to or like you have to be in a certain type of community or social circle to meet the kind of person you want to date i understand that you want to date someone you know who earns more than you that's normal that's fine but you cannot expect to date someone that let's say you earn let's give an let me give an example let's say you you earn two thousand ghana cities and you want to date someone who earns a million ghana cities like how are you even going to meet that first person in the first place like, you're not even going to be able to afford going into that person's social circle to even be able to meet that person in the first place even if you do like i am the type of person who believe that relationships should be balanced and i feel like if you're dating someone like that like he has everything what would you offer him in case of gift giving or something like how would you be able to balance that relationship out do you get now when it comes to guys like guys like to do that guy like guys like to date girls that are way out of their reach and then later complain about things for example if you're a guy who earned two thousand and you're expecting to date a lady who earns ten thousand you're i feel like you're um well, what am i looking for the word i'm looking for i feel like your self-esteem yeah self-esteem i feel like as, as that guy your self-esteem must be really really on on a good note and on good points and high because dating someone that is out of your league will only make you feel even more insecure like for example she has a lifestyle that she already lives and has maintained and you are coming in and you're judging why are you spending money on this why are you doing that why are you doing that because you don't have that kind of money so you feel a certain way but that's the kind of lifestyle that that girl has had for time immemorial so it's gonna not be like oh um she's now gonna feel like why should i have to change just to fit your um your what am i looking for just to make you comfortable because like at some point i get that it could make you feel uncomfortable if someone spent the kind of money that you wish you had if you earn two thousand and she earns ten thousand she could literally use your salary to buy a hair or she could use your salary to to just go on a trip and you will feel like wow that's that's waste of money but to her that's not waste of money because she's not at that level what i'm basically trying to say is that guys and ladies please date according to your size if you can i'm not saying you don't have dreams i'm not saying you don't deserve good things everybody deserves good things you deserve great things and you deserve way better but be realistic in your desires be realistic in your expectations so that you don't get disappointed and you don't get your heart broken now when, when it comes to expectations oh everyone has their own expectation before even like 
entering a relationship you have your own expectation well living in this part of the world growing up uh in togo and ghana i know some guys usually expect their girlfriend not their wives their girlfriends to spend weekends with them that involved having sex doing other stuff and sometimes some guys expect you to cook for them and help them clean their room and watch for them other things that you know the african society would say is something that a wife is supposed to do but boyfriends expect that from girlfriends you know and some girlfriend feels like no 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 that's not my that's not my duty that's not my i'm not your wife you know um and also regarding that some girls also feel like if you're my boyfriend and i am coming to your place and spending weekend and cooking and cleaning well then you should also support me financially which i think is fair hear me out don't trim my head already hear me out if you're a guy and you're such a girl to leave her father or mother's house can't spend weekend at your place you know satisfy you whatever now cook for you clean for you do this for you wash your clothes it's only fair that you balance it out in a certain way if her own way is financial then you should be able to do that i feel like in every situation it is always it's always supposed to be a give and take and if you're taking you know the cooking you're taking the cleaning you're taking the washing why not give her what she uh expects also or requires from you now if you want to be in a relationship where you're free of those things well why not just be in a relationship where you don't expect a man to give you money and then the man also does not expect you to clean for them and cook for them and wash for them because at the end, at the end of the day dating is supposed to uh, make you help you to know someone dating is not um moving into your boyfriend's house yeah i mean i'm not judging people who live together we'll come to that in another topic i'm talking about here in ghana dating is to help you get to know someone go on dates do activities you know so that you get to see that person in different uh, aspects you know like if you're in the movie theater if you go on a road trip if you get in an incident with others that like you see how that person reacts in different situations and that helps you know the kind of person that you're dating and if that's the kind of person that you want to marry so like dating is not when you know uh you're you're having a wife you know cook for me click clean for me sleep with me do this with do that for me and then when she now um asks you for money you're like oh you're materialistic oh you're this all you think about is money well that's how society says it if you're an, an african especially west african women are supposed to be submissive men are supposed to provide what does provide means to you do you get so if you're expecting a submissive girlfriend a girlfriend that will cook for you clean for you do this for you then you should be able to provide for that girlfriend to make her happy to be able to be doing those things for you at the end of the day me severina i don't judge anybody choose what works for you it's always what works for you it's always what makes you happy because i'm not in that relationship any if it works for you if it makes you happy why not go ahead do that because like at the end of the day it's your life no one is gonna leave it for you so that's my point like guys if you expect a girl to do certain things for you be ready to uh reciprocate that with the way she expects you to treat her because everyone wants to be treated different and you you must be able to ask those questions at the beginning of the relationship so that you know what to what, what you are expected to give and what you, you should also expect but my general advice is if you want to be free of those things don't ask people for money and also you not be asked to cook for nobody that's a joke though that's a joke i i'm not gonna sit here and act like i've not cooked for a boyfriend before i have i have you know um but that's that's just my point on you know size and expectation in life please catch your quotes according to your size but if you want to go above and beyond your size just make sure that your self-esteem is very high your insecurities are not going to creep in and destroy that relationship you can date wherever you want just make sure you are confident in yourself you know what you bring to the table and you know you you're just confident in that and trust me it will work no matter if the size is even 
it like three times bigger it will still work because you know what you bring to the table you're not insecure and your self-esteem is okay so when it comes to expectation know what the other person expects of you and know if you can give it before you also and know what you also expect and communicate that before everything starts so guys thank you so much so much so much for watching this video thank you to, uh, for coming to the end please comment in the comment section talk to your girl say something to me say hi tell me what kind of video you want me to film for you and i'll try and do that i am on my consistency journey and it's happening and no one can tell me i'm not doing that i'm feeling this this beat face yo i'm i'm feeling it i'm excited i'm feeling it so guys thank you so much for watching watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys mm.